This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic that is uh, new HANA based output manager. Okay, this is also called as BRF plus means business rule framework plus. So the, the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see uh, introduction to new S4 HANA output management. Okay. Then important differences between compared to the classic output management. The classic output management we discussed already in our previous sessions. Okay, that uh, taking the print, purchase order print, how to generate the print. That output management, that NACE we discussed, right? So that how the new output management which we are discussing today, how it is different to that old classic output management we will discuss. Okay, and also setting up business rules for this BRF. Okay, we will discuss those rules, how to set up, how to generate the print and all we will discuss. Okay. So first we'll start with this introduction to new output management. Okay. So with S4 HANA, with SAP S4 HANA, a new output management approach is in place. Still you have that old NACE, NACE uh, output determination is there, that uh, NACE uh, condition technique, all those things, it is still it is available. But they have come up with a simplified uh, uh, new output management approach okay so this uh, new output management the complete configuration differs from the configuration that is used when output management is based on a NACE. so NACE basically okay so the problem with the old uh, uh, output management is you have to do a lot of configuration you have to define the condition tables you have to define the access sequence, then message types, then uh, schema, uh, schema, message schema, all that configuration you have to do. You have to maintain the condition tables, all those things you have to do. So what they did is here in this new output management, they have simplified it actually. Okay, it is, if you compare with that old one, it is somewhat uh, simple. Okay, so that we will understand. So if you, if you recollect the old one, uh, old output management management it is NACE actually okay. so in the NACE so you have to do a lot of uh, settings actually okay so now in the in the new new output management it is somewhat easy actually So it is called brf plus brf plus means business rule framework plus so this we, are, we will be discussing today okay so the the configuration the configuration is based on brf plus i will show you this in the system so in purchasing of in purchasing from mm point of view in purchasing the new output management is available for not only purchase orders it is available for request for quotations and as usual purchase orders and purchase contracts as of now it is available okay so uh, before going into the uh, rules to set up the rules and all what i will show you uh, so what to to set up this actually what we need to do in the system i will show you so first is you need to do some configuration and show you that configuration configuration and then uh, you there are some settings in the brf plus transaction of course this will be done by the basis team we will not do this we will be uploading some excel files they will upload some excel files and this is a one-time activity one time activity yeah of course configuration is also one time activity and then you have to set up the rules set up the rules set up the rules in uh, in OPD transaction, OPD transaction. So these three activities we need to do. If you if at all you want to do new if at, if at all you want to use new output management. And again I'm repeating the old output management which we discussed in our earlier session. It is still available in S4. Okay. Suppose if I go to the system. This is S4 HANA system. If I go to the NACE, the old one, it is still available. 
okay i try to recollect uh, we discussed in this one n u in view uh, what is it for purchase order uh, ef this is the one okay application and if you go to procedures this is the procedure okay okay and then you have the uh, output types all those things we used any u try to recollect any u we used okay output types so it is still available but on top of this they have come up with this new output type determination okay which is nothing but brf plus okay so now first we will see one by one so first is configuration right so if you